Hi everyone, we've got a leak in our hose from the van, so what I'm going to do is show you how to fix one. It's quite basic, simple, most of you will know already, but uh, this is just for perhaps people who don't know. Um, most of the reason why this actually happened is because we didn't get the flow controller right, so it was always on full power, so it just burst the actual pipe. Um, I'll pan that around a bit, you can see the got all the hose out. Make sure there's no uh, pressure behind it now. There's the leak, because we... Uh, actually taped it up so we know where it is. So what you need for this job, Stanley knife, okay, one of these connectors here, Let's see if I get this in the view. Um, we're going to use a plastic one because it's lighter. It's actually the same on both sides. It's specially designed to join uh, a pipe. Uh, you need some insulation tape, try to get the good one if you can, and some fishing line. Not too thick but not too thin either if you can. And what we're going to do, we're just going to cut this section out here, so I'm going to cut it out. There you go, one side, just cut the other side off. That's the tape gone. Now what we're going to do is just feed this in here. These are not always easy to get in, so sometimes you might need a bit of hot water or something. I think I'll manage with these. All right. Right. Do one end at a time because you'll find it easier. I'm going to do the second bit in a bit. Just stuff that in there so I know where it is easy to find. Now I've pre-cut the tape. I don't know if you can see that here, so that uh, it's ready for when you put your your fishing line on. And you can actually see that tape there. Okay see my camera view. Alright, what you need to do, get a bit of fishing line. Notice how I'm wedging this in place so it doesn't fall everywhere. Get about a metre out. And just start twirling it round. I'm doing this method so you don't have any clips or anything to get caught on anything. If you put Jubilee clips on, what you'll do is just add to the stress that it's going to catch on everything. I found that this actually really does work. It won't blow it apart, even at 100 psi if you do it correctly. Right, that's the fishing line on. Now I'm going to get one of these prepared bits of tape. This is so it doesn't unravel. You could use a bit of super glue on here as well if you wanted, just to make absolutely sure. Now what you're going to have to do here as well is these are going to wear. So you could either have this as a temporary measure to repair your hose, or more permanently if we keep checking this tape because it will wear off on the roads whatever okay so that's that's one side done okay let that go I'll just do the other side stuff these together make sure that's nice and driven in there 